Welcome to Jazz is Flying and maybe you have noticed on my channel that I'm building this huge more than 12 feet wingspan RC cargo airplane but you didn't understand the word right because it's German. I got so many requests and so many comments um, and so I decided to translate part 1 to 9 that are already published here on my channel in an English version. So from part 10 on that will be released in a few weeks I will do two different kind of videos so one German version and one English version so if you just subscribe and click the bell you get the notification whenever the new part comes online and uh, there's an English version for you. Now um, have fun with the first part and the first part is all about the blueprints and starting building this thing, this huge, amazing airplane. And I try to release um, a translated version of part two to nine every, maybe every two weeks. I don't know how fast I can do that. Have fun with the first part. See you soon. So here I've already drawn one spar of the fuselage that sits near the wing mount on this sheet of 4mm or 1 8 of an inch plywood and together with a second spar that covers this whole sheet. So one spar has a width of about 60 centimeters or 23 inches in total. And here you can see the last spar of the horizontal stabilizer of one half of the horizontal stabilizer and together with the stringer there are some slots in it so you can put it together for a very sturdy connection and that will be the total length and width of one half of the horizontal stabilizer.
Yes, All right, it's done. All spars are ready, mainly from plywood and some of balsa wood. And that goes from spar number one, that's in the very far end, until up here to the spar number 13. Just for reference, you see how large this spar is. And that is the position where the aft half of the fuselage is attached. Uh, the part with the cargo door that sits here and it can uh, open and close. And so after comes the horizontal and the vertical stabilizer. I see here that's the cargo hold and now we can put everything together to see how large it is. All right, the skeleton is ready and now you can see how large this thing is. Here in the back, that's spar number 13 where the aft part is attached with the cargo door. And then that's all cargo hold up here until the spar number 4. And you can see there is the door to the cockpit. And uh, so for the cockpit there are still three spars missing. So spar 3, 2 and 1. And up here will be the nose and the radar cone of the aircraft. So I just metered the cargo hold and that is 1.4 meters of 4.6 feet of cargo hold. Mm -hmm. 